Hey y'all, it's Delon. I am coming on here very quickly just to drop some thoughts. Drop some thoughts. Um, again, this is another video that was not really planned, but um, it's on my heart. It's on my heart and this has become a safe space for me just to release what's on my heart. You may be able to identify with it. Um, so I want to talk about people pleasing, people pleasing and validation from outside sources. This is something that I have dealt with continually in my life. I have seen this pop up in spaces where I'm supposed to be fully confident in what I'm doing, who I am, where God has placed me, and I will still try and seek um, some sort of validation or affirmation from something outside of myself or something outside of what God has, has told me. And I understand now, as God is literally healing me from this specific thing, that it comes from a place of rejection. It comes from a place of low self-worth or low self-value or viewing yourself in um, a lower degree than what God has said about you. Um, it's something that com comes and goes for me because I'm not where I used to be, where I used to worry so heavily about um, people's perception of me or um, what they think. It's not necessarily that, but sometimes I will second guess doing what God has told me to do or saying what God has told me to say in fear that this person will be upset or in fear that this person will not understand or whatever it may be. And God is literally healing me from that. And the way that he's healing me from that is by placing me not placing me, but allowing me to go through situations and circumstances where I have to go against what somebody may want in order to be um, in order to be obedient to what God has told me to do. Um, this actually just showed up in my life where there was something that was planned that the Lord said I could not attend. And it was something very important to one of my friends. And I had to tell her, I can't go. <laughs> I can't go I can't participate and not only did I have to deal with this this rejection that I you know kind of made up in my head of like she's gonna feel this way or she's gonna look at, the, at it this way or she's gonna think this or she's gonna assume that I had ill intentions for why I can't go or whatever it may be um God literally had to, you know, give me an ultimatum. Like either you go against what I told you or you try to, you know, either you try to please this person and go against what I told you or you are obedient to me and you see what blessing I have for you for your obedience or you see what I'm able to protect you from because of your obedience. You know, you never know why God is telling you to do something that may go against something that you felt like you should do. You see what I'm saying? So, again, not only with that did people pleasing come up, but also um, boundaries. Boundaries are another thing that God is literally like, that's something that I've struggled with in my life. In relationships, in friendships, in family relationships, establishing healthy boundaries so that I can love someone in the way that I'm supposed to and they can love me in the way that they are supposed to in a healthy way where we respect each other, where we know which boundaries not to cross, where we know the healthiest ways to be in communication with each other. Everything cannot be based off of feeling or based off of um, quick emotion or, you know, not wanting to harm someone or not wanting to, to hurt someone's feelings. It cannot be you taking care of yourself cannot be based off of whether or not you hurt someone's feelings or not. It can't be based off of whether or not their perception changes of you. That's them. That's their issue. If they have a heart issue to where 
something may occur and instead of forgiving or instead of understanding or instead of coming to a place where there is a knowledge about what really happened instead of gossip or instead of turning their face to you or being upset at you or whatever it may be if, if that's their heart issue that's something that God has to deliver them from it has nothing to do with you standing firm in who you are and being unapologetic for healthy boundaries being unapologetic for not wanting to please others, but wanting to be pleasing to God. At the end of the day, he's not going to ask, well, when I told you to do this, but you didn't want to hurt your friend's feelings and you did it anyway, he ain't going to ask about that. No, I told you to do this specifically. And because you allowed the spirit of people pleasing, of perfectionism, of, of rejection, you allowed those spirits to dictate what decisions you made when I told you to do something else. And so when you decide to create healthy boundaries and stick with them, when you decide that you are no longer going to be um, tossed to and fro by the spirit of rejection, you may experience isolation. You may experience um, friendships disintegrate. You may experience a loss of relationships. You may experience a loss of connection and you have to be okay with that because the people who were designed to be in your life will respect your boundaries they will understand where you're coming from. They will love you through your healing process. They will understand and they will be connected to God. The people that are supposed to be in your life and where you're advancing to, they will be connected with God as well. And they, were, uh, they will fully understand what's going on. You won't have to explain and worry about their feelings and, and coddle them in such a way that it's like, bro, I cannot apologize for where God is taking me. I cannot apologize for the fact that God is trying to help me establish healthy relationships in my life. I cannot apologize that God is trying to deliver me from people pleasing. So now I don't need your validation. Now I won't ask you your opinion about what God has told me to do. Now I won't worry about what you think or what you say about me. I won't worry about that because God is healing me and delivering me from that. You cannot be apologetic about where God is taking you when he is elevating you. People will fall off left and right. I'm a witness to it. People will fall off left and right. And you have to be willing to lose some people in exchange for what God is trying to give you in the process. And it's taken me a long time to realize this. But now that I've got it, now that I, it was like a light bulb went off and now that I've got it, God is undoing things. Okay, the spirit of rejection, let's get to the root of that. The spirit of people pleasing and perfectionism, let's get to the root of that. Let's get to the root of why you seek validation. Let's get to the root of why their opinion of you matters or is important or is or dictates what you do more than what God has said. Let's get to the root of that so that once we heal it, the place that I'm taking to you, take, taking you to requires that you are not bound by these things. The place that I'm taking you to, more people will want to um, give you their validation or, or seek to provide you with their opinion of you or say whatever about you. You will experience more people who have dealt with the spirit of rejection. You will, you will experience more rejection. You will experience more no's. You'll experience more people there where I'm taking you where you have to be strong-minded. You have to be strong-minded. You have to be in a place where those things are healed before, before you can get there. And that's why things are happening so quickly for me when it comes to healing and so quickly for me when it comes to quick decision making that otherwise would, would torment me. Like, oh my gosh, I have to cut this person out of my life. I'm not there anymore. I'm not there anymore. I'm at the point where I am so sick of living beneath what God has called me to. I'm so sick of allowing people access to me that mean me harm. 
mean me harm. Think about the people that you have had in your circle. And if you have picked up on spirits of jealousy or picked up on spirits of comparison or picked up on spirits of, of rejection or low self-esteem and you are connecting yourselves with the, yourself with these people and you wonder why God is not advancing you with them around. People can be dead weight. People can be dead weight and in the place where we are going, we can't afford to be weighed down by nothing and nobody. And so if you are dealing with people pleasing or you tend to seek validation from others, one, don't be afraid to bring that to God. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable with God and vulnerable with yourself that you have been in a place where that's what you've been dealing with. That's something that you need to repent of because it's definitely putting other people over God. It's definitely putting other, um, it's putting the spirit of rejection in control of your life. And so there's definitely a place of repentance that needs to happen but also allow him to undo that perspective allow him to undo that mindset where you are so focused on other people or or whose whose opinion means what and also allow him to teach you how to establish healthy boundaries that is literally what he's doing for me right now and i know that it's in um i'm gonna meet my husband soon he's literally I'm right here, he right here, literally. I'm gonna meet my husband soon and I cannot drag the baggage of people pleasing, rejection, validation. Those things can't go. Those things can't go and I have to know how to establish and maintain healthy boundaries even in our relationship, in our dating relationship. That has to be there before I can even begin anything. There can't be unhealthy attachments to other people that have not been severed. And so not only just in my meeting of my husband, but also in the elevation of my career and where God is taking me, those things have to be in place. Otherwise, I'm carrying dead weight that will hold me back. That will hold me back. And so... Um, yeah, I'm just in this divine accelerated healing right now. And it hurts. It definitely <laughs> hurts. I have cried. I have been upset. I have um, not wanted to be as vulnerable. I'm, I'm actually talking with the, a mentoring coach, kind of like she's like a therapist in a sense too. And then I have an accountability partner and I'm joined a new church. So I've got new community. I'm, I am in the most <laughs> healing accountability journey that I've ever, ever been in. And that's exactly where God desires for me to be because of where he's taking me. It's necessary. It's necessary. And so if I got to put my feet to the ground and do what he's calling me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to always do it. I may cry. I may get upset. I may fall. I may stumble. But I'm going to always get up and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. There's too much at stake for me to stay the way I've been. Way too much at stake. And so I'm, I'm not apologetic. I'm not apologetic for doing what I have to do. So I hope this helps somebody. <laughs> I definitely didn't think that I was going to make a video today. Especially not about this. But it was necessary. And that video, this, just talking about this, is freeing right now. So yeah let me know in the comments if this is something that you have dealt with are dealing with god is healing you from whatever it may be and i will keep you guys updated and posted on everything subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys bye